In this shortcut tutorial I will show you how to track and blur a moving face or object. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in shortcut. Links to my beginners tutorials can be found in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay. I'm just going to do a single person and I'm going to try and make this as, as quick and easy as possible. So the first thing you may want well need to do in shortcut is add another track. So if you place your pointer over the V1 and right click, you've got something called track operations. So as soon as you've got just a, you're going to duplicate this video above, you just want to select add video track now bring your video back in to track 2 snap it up and I'm just gonna knock the end back to match the end of the one below okay so making sure that the top track is selected go to filters and then press the plus sign and you'll need to either type the descriptions in here that you're looking for or I'm just going to select video so we show all the filters now I find the first thing that you'd really want to do is put a blur on so I'm going to go for blur Gaussian and that'll add a blur sometimes if you add the blur after the crop you get some black marks around the edges it doesn't always happen but if you use the blur first you should find that this works okay now using the little plus add a filter select this and come on down to you can find the crops now do not use the circle one it's to be honest with you it's a waste of time it might seem a bit mad but you can use a rectangle to make a round crop I'll show you how to do this now so just select crop rectangle and using the corners if you just drag the corners in so you get a sort of half decent size you can also select the middle to move your crop but it will sort of make it proportional from the corners so let's have a look at this we've got so looking at this height if we went for a circle um, we wanted it similar to this at present they're saying 272 top to bottom so I'm gonna just match this size here up to the match and then hit return and obviously you'll probably need to find where you want to mask so that's looking pretty good now it says here corner radius present it'll probably be set at nothing if you just hold your left mouse button down and drag this over a hundred percent and just for ease I'll select the bottom track you'll end up with a round crop Let's go back into the top track and make sure you've got your um, rectangle selected your crop and then select transparent so we're good to go you can adjust the blur after you've uh, gone through these operations look for the little clock it'll say use keyframes for this parameter select this and this will bring up your keyframe tracks the one thing I would say is if you've got somebody who doesn't move a lot say at the beginning and then kicks off you may have to apply individual keyframes here to hold it in place so for instance if this chap here was I don't know staying uh, for a second or two then he moved off and I tracked here this would move and you would be able to see his face so you might need to play with adding keyframes here 
in this instance all I'm going to do is make sure that you've got the track actually selected sometimes it pays to click on it and then use your right mouse button and just hit it five five to ten times depends on the amount of movement and now if I move this it will set another keyframe up or another batch of keyframes so let's place this here and again and we'll move this again and just keep going and move in your crop until you get to the end I'm going to carry on doing this and I'll come back to once I've placed all the keyframes in once you've set up all your keyframes just play your video through and check to see that you're happy with the position of the um, crop and there are a few points here I could adjust if I wanted to I don't know let's have a look see what's going on here it's not too bad I think I'll go with that for now you can change at any point along here if you wanted to tidy up or like I said you can place an actual keyframe but I think for this tutorial I'm just gonna leave it as this so just come up to your Gorizian blur and just drag your blur to the point where you obscure the individual or anything really to be honest with you let's go back to the beginning see what it looks like yeah it's not perfect there's a few points but you get the picture you can see how you by using keyframes you can sort of track a moving object I'm not going to go back this make this tutorial far too long so um, you're good to go just go ahead and export your video as I said at the beginning I assume you've got some knowledge so I won't go into that but basically that's a quick and easy way of obscuring an object in um, shortcut if you want a more automatic uh, feature you may have to go over to something like blender or davinci resolve the one in davinci resolve is amazing you just select the face and it will track it for you but um, that's a more advanced program so hopefully that's helped someone thank you for watching cheers